<coughs> ella viene del otro lado. Yeah. Sí, tú eres la persona, ella viene del otro lado. Tiene todo ahí. Ah, oh, sí, es que tiene. Se cambian los guantes, todo, todo, mira, todo el procedimiento, una y otra. Sí, es que es, es que van a entrar al hospital, Carmen. Y en el hospital, pues ahí te tiene que dejar uno y todas las cosas. Yo tengo que estar aquí. ¿Y cómo la Alexa no se La Alexa no está. Bien. Creo que las alergias está mejor. Nada más es como la frena. Se la está quitando, pero está bien. Pero esa medicina, no se la está ayudando mucho. I'm the one that needs it. <laughs> Who are you having a procedure with? Um, it's the paperwork here. With Dr. Young, I'm having a steroid injection then on Monday. What's your last name? Taurus. Taurus, first name? Carmen. Carmen, let me see if I have you. What's your birthday? 11766. Correct. Right. Had you all ready to go. Dr. Young's office sends over a sheet of paper. Okay. All the patients. Okay, good. <laughs> like, oh, she's lying to me. Just the nose? Just the okay. nose. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. I like your nose ring. Where'd you get it? Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. I got it at Walmart years ago. 
and it's like 14 karat gold, but they don't have it anymore. Oh. It's like a kid's ring, but it was the one that fit me the best. And I just love it because it's flat, yeah. so it doesn't like stick out. Yeah, I have so. a little like stud, but I need a new one because it's too long. Like it, if I really hit it, I give myself a Yeah, right see, that's what I liked about that it's kid because the stick is shorter. Short, yeah. So it's very comfortable and I could do like that and it doesn't hurt. Yeah, see, if I do that, I give myself a Yeah, I used to do that too and I hated it. And then I found this one. Every now and then it'll come back, but it'll be in that case where the kid stuff is. Yeah. You'll see it. And it's flat. And sometimes it'll get a heart shape. Sometimes it's just a regular round shape. But it's 14 karat gold and it's not expensive at all. Yeah. So it works perfect. Yeah, check it out. I'm done. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, April 18th, and I'm in my car waiting for my husband to come out. We're on our way to the hospital to have the sterile injection done. Say prayers for me that all goes well. I'll keep in touch as it goes along. Oh, dijo, uh, eso sí estuvo buena la sorpresa. heals me. It like takes me two steps back kind of. I see. And so the only place that I can be is a recliner, but I'm yeah. tired. I'm tired of the recliner. Yeah. It's never been my favorite chair. I mean right. it's his favorite chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and then having that that's the only place I could be and uh -huh. I mean I'm still having so much pain there. Correct. But it's like the only space that I can like try to get through the night. Uh -huh. But it's it's the once we do this. Mm -hmm. so I'm trying to think of what I want to say because okay. I'm hoping that it takes it away. Mm -hmm. I heard it can take up to a week to feel the difference. Well, you uh, usually, initially, the numbing medication can help help you to know, you know, if you have the if you have relief right away. So simply, you may just kind of at least take the edge off. I would say, you know, it's kind of like, because you have a stenosis in your back. So from zero to 10, right, the, that amount of pain, let's say you're 10 out of 10 right now, I'm hoping at least we can take a few, you know, notch down, you know, and then, uh, so you don't have to be always living in such a sharp pain. Yeah, you may feel a little bit right down there, but, but you know, at least that, that's what we want to achieve. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. so this, 
injection because I'm trying to, to mm -hmm. you know help myself understand yeah so this injection is going into the nerve yeah, it's going to be sitting right next to a nerve to suppress that inflammation okay. that uh, probably happened recently from your back. You know, whether did you have, because we did an MRI just recently. Yeah. But again, you know, did you, from an MRI till now, did you pop another yeah, disc? Yeah, that's crazy, huh? You know, uh, it's hard. Yeah, because you already have surgery in the past, right? Yeah. So, but, you know, but this disc is different from the surgery one, correct, right? Correct, exactly. It's a different one area. Because yeah. we were concerned about that. Correct. If it was yeah. going to be the same, yeah. mm -hmm. what could you more do to that? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because from my understanding, it's the disc, and then he shaved. Yeah. Most of it just left enough to hold the spine up. Exactly. And every time I have an MRI, they say it's intact. That surgery yeah. was done really, really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. But some so what happens is that over time, because they he took out the disc, mm. so now that part's weak, so it's vulnerable, mm. right? Mm. So now the upper part is going to take more pressure on the upper part, and then that's what's going on with you, L4, L5. Mm. And then, I mean, I, not too meant to scare you, it's not going to be as simple you know, in the future, once you have the surgery in the future, it's not going to be the same, oh, we just take out this, you probably need a fusion. So, what so what's that the future mean? Uh, that means that they probably have to stabilize the whole entire back, you know, put screws in it. Yeah. Screws in like yeah. rods and mm -hmm. stuff. So is is the surgery like a long surgery? Like a uh, it's okay, probably a few hours. Yeah, yeah, but you need to have a good surgeon. And that surgery. would probably happen if this doesn't work. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So so we'll see. But so if this goes in the nerve. This should calm the inflammation. Right, that's what we're trying to achieve. From creating all this yep. pain, mm -hmm. and I could kind of be back to normal. I mean, I'm not going to do the stuff that I used to right, do. Right. I am going to definitely modify yeah. my life because I mm -hmm. don't want to go through this again. Right. Yeah. And I'm so angry. That's why I'm so I'm so angry mm -hmm. at myself that I kept pushing mm -hmm. and pushing because. I'm so, I've always been clean, like, mm -hmm. since I was little, my mother used to say, oh my God, like, mm -hmm. I always was extremely clean, extremely organized, and then I have OCD now, and that magnified mm -hmm. it, so it's like, sometimes I'll clean the same thing three times, just yeah. to make sure it's super duper clean, and you had warned me, you know, you gotta be careful, you gotta be careful, and I just kept pushing, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. up to three o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. cleaning, and so yeah. I'm angry mm -hmm. at myself. Yeah. That because I didn't listen and I kept pushing that mm -hmm. I put myself in this position. Because yeah. I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. Yeah, just, absolutely. I mean, yeah. 2019, I was bedridden, and mm -hmm. that was something so scary and so yeah. awful. Mm -hmm. But this is right up there yeah. with it. And then I didn't have you at that time, mm -hmm. so I thought, what yeah. the heck is going on? So I'm hoping that with this injection, mm -hmm. it'll like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like the disc is sitting on the nerve, huh? Right, exactly. Causing just that, the that pain. space is very small right now. Oh, it's a moderate to severe stenosis. So this kind of just like numbs the pain. Will I have to have another one of these done? Uh, we'll you? see. Usually we'll see how he responds. Yeah, we'll see how he responds first. Yeah. And then, to, uh, the yeah. and then just follow up and then plan out the next step to see how that goes. Okay. I love you. Yeah. No <laughs> I, my life is in your uh, hand and I trust yeah. you with my life. Because everything you've done for me has worked. Thank you. And it's because yeah. of you that I keep going. <laughs> yeah, that I you got to, it. Because I'm like, he's uh -huh. he's not letting me down. He's uh -huh. not giving up. I can't give up on him. Yeah. <laughs> we have. I have to be positive and be a team with him. Yeah, absolutely. Because then nothing that we plan yep. will work if I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to do though, because yeah. this does depress me. A full anesthetic, which is either like a marcaine or a lidocaine, and that helps numb the area, and the steroid is what works on the inflammation. Oh. Okay, so we do a little bit of mixed. Okay. okay, so that's what we're doing. What side are we going to go on? Left side. The left side, okay. Um, oh. You haven't had anything to eat or drink this morning? 11.56 was the last thing I drank because I took my blood That's pressure. Okay. I would have been like this at midnight. <laughs> I had that water bottle and I was yeah, like, 11.56, no, yeah, no, no, you're fine. 11.47 was when That's I fine. had my last spoon of food. Okay. And then um, you are allergic to what? Um, penicillin, mm -hmm. ampicillin, Darvacet, Percocet, morphine, and Vicodin. Okay. No problems with fentanyl or Versed number four. No, probably no, no, no. your injection. You normally we use them for other surgeries. So okay. um, if you haven't had any issues with the anesthesia for other surgeries, yeah, probably not never had that. I'm giving metal anywhere in your body. I have a titanium plate okay. in my neck. Okay. Um, I do have to ask if it's okay to give you blood in the case of an emergency. I have a rare blood, but yes. Okay. <laughs> we don't anticipate this is super rare. We just ask everyone. Okay. okay. 
Um, and then when's the, what do you take for pain? Any blood thinning medication? I take ibuprofen, but I stopped it like a week and a half, two weeks Perfect. ago. Perfect, okay. Because I was on other things. Uh-huh. And um, I just, lately I took the steroid, I finished the steroid three days ago. Okay. Then I just been on the Lyrica uh -huh. and my high blood pressure. Perfect. So okay. 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 He gave me the NorCal, but I didn't want to take That's it. Okay. okay. It's good. I know. It is. It's a scary thing. This is a good thing. You try it out and see how it works. Okay. Yeah. And like you said, it's not a magic thing. You're not going to wake up and want to like go dancing, you know, <laughs> but um, you might be able to stand really there happy and to sway stand. for a little bit. Exactly. And brush your teeth and yes, do some normal life things. Brushing my teeth is painful. Yeah. It's a simple thing that yeah. you don't appreciate. They say you never know what you, you got till it's it. gone. Exactly. And just to not be able to even brush my teeth or yeah. brush my hair yeah. or even yeah. stand. I would be happy just to stand and go to my bed. Yep. I miss my bed. I hope that we can give that to you today. Okay. So deep breath, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna give you some medication inside, okay? And I'm gonna be there with you the whole time. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you wanna smooch this guy one more time? Tom, I'll see you in about oh, yeah. a minute. And then, um, <laughs> we'll try to get you back as soon as, like, she's kind of hooked up to monitors and comfortable back there, okay? okay? So, um, just now I leave, so you guys call me when Yeah, she's we ready. can call you, just yeah. Call yeah. You guys got my phone number. Are you yeah. going to go home and check? Yeah. Okay, check There's no way I can stay here. It's going to be, like, how, how long takes this? Not very long. Not very so, long. about 20, 20 minutes in the room and then 30 minutes over so there. So, an less hour, than so an hour. I'm going, yeah, about an hour. Okay. Okay. And I'll come back, okay? Okay. 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 I love you. Love you okay. We got her. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted to turn on the camera because I am in my bed. This has been something that's been very difficult to do since my sciatica nerve and my damaged disc took a toll. Um, I miss my bed. I miss my room. I miss being with my husband. Um, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I revamped my entire house with all brand new furniture starting in 2019. And I've even revamped some of the revamp, you know, changed some things as time went along. But it's finally completed, and I love it. And that includes my bed. It's an entire new bed frame, an entire new mattress, which is a memory foam mattress that I love. It makes me feel comfy. It makes me feel um, rested. And I miss it. I, I miss my whole room is probably my favorite room in the entire house because it's mine. Um, like I said, I miss the comfort and the rest um, of being in my bed. I miss my husband. And I haven't been able to be in the bed because it takes a toll on my sciatica nerve and it creates horrific pain. And so I've been bound to our um, living room recliner, which has never been my favorite chair. It's my husband's favorite chair. Um, but it's been what has kind of saved me since the sciatica nerve took a toll. So little by little, I've been trying to come back to the bed. But there's been times where I've had to leave in a matter of minutes because the pain is so awful. Sometimes within an hour. Um, the last time I tried it, I stayed in the bed for four hours only because I fell asleep and didn't feel the pain. But when I woke up, I knew I had made a mistake. Um, and went straight back to the recliner, and it was really sad and depressing for me. Yeah, and um, I don't know why the bed creates so much pain when it's a pretty darn good mattress and a good bed. And I've tried to recline my body the way I, I sit in the recliner. But, of course, in the recliner, it's more stronger, so I stay up as much as I want to and I recline as much as I want to in the bed your body as much as you recline you tend to slide down um my the recliner of course is propped up so my feet is propped up and we've tried to prop my legs and my feet up you know kind of simulating what the recliner does and it just has made my side of nerve worse and so Yep, I keep trying in hopes that something will change and 
On Monday, which was four days ago, I had an epidural injection put in the nerve that's in my back where that damaged disc is. And I have an amazing doctor who everything he has done for my back, which has been a lot, has worked. And so I have faith that this will work, but yesterday wasn't a good day because um, I felt like I went backwards. I felt like in moments I feel some improvement and I feel hope like, oh, I haven't had pain in a, in a while or it hasn't been bad. Maybe this is working. And then there's moments where I feel like I don't think this worked. And that's scary because if this doesn't work, they will have no other choice but to operate. And that's the one thing that my doctor has been trying to avoid didn't even want to contemplate it. He knew it had to be one of the options because that's just the way it goes. But he said there were so many things he could do before we get to that point. And he didn't recommend it because it's a dangerous, dangerous surgery. Anytime you operate on the back, it's dangerous. Even when I had back surgery 20 plus years ago, it was dangerous because you're going into the spinal cord and you could become paralyzed and so many people rather deal with the pain than ha take that chance of being paralyzed. Mine happened to be successful. Um, through the years when people have done MRIs on my back and gone through it, they're like, my God, that surgery is intact. It was done perfectly. Who did it? Um, so that's good news. And the good news is the disc that's damaged is not that same disc. Um, because otherwise, what could they have done? that would to go into that same disc that is pretty much not there there's a piece left to hold the spine up but it's pretty much not there um so the doctor has like you know if you were in your 70s i'd say let's do it but the chances uh because i would say the chances of it coming back you would probably be dead before it happens but you're only in your 50s so through the years, as you just saw now, 20 plus years later, another disc is damaged, and that's pretty much what's going to happen if you're still alive in the next 20 years. And he said, the, not only do you have that danger of being paralyzed, but you have the dangers of being under anesthesia and in the operating room so many hours because they would have to go through the front. It's a big old opening of a surgery, and then they have to flip. And you're doing that for a few hours, and then they have to flip you over and be another few hours going through the back, in which they would put in rods, lots of rods and screws to stabilize the back. But, and I knew he was trying to avoid it, and it wasn't a chance that he or I were willing to take. Um, so we were looking forward to all the other options that we had. And so when I went to have the injection done, you know, he comes in and speaks to you and that reminds you what he's going to do and the pros and cons and stuff. And he finally said, if this doesn't work, we're going to have to operate. And it was a rude awakening because we had said we weren't willing to take that chance and we didn't even want to contemplate it. And I think I could see a fear in his face like, this is really bad, but I had already had so much on my mind emotionally, mentally, and physically that I don't think he wanted to put another weight on my shoulder, but I could tell he was holding something back, and he finally said, you know, if this doesn't work, we'll have to operate, and I'm scared, and I'm sure he's scared, even though he's an amazing doctor, and everything he does has worked, and he's the best of the best. But, and I know it says that it takes one to three days for this epidural to kick in. And I'm on my fourth day and things are still the same, which every certain moment it seems to be subsiding, but I'm still in the same situation where I can't walk or stand on my own without a walker. Um, as you know, I've been having a hard time getting to be in my bed. Um, I have to shower with the stool inside the shower, um, like a seat inside the shower. I definitely can't clean or do any of that. I can't do anything. I really can't. I can't make my own food, even if something as simple as a sandwich. 
um, I'm on medication. Um, but then there are cases where it takes one to two weeks to kick in. And I feel like that's my luck. I'm going to be the odd person that it takes one to two weeks to kick in. But I have a post-op appointment, which is May 4th. And if I'm not better by then, then I know the reality is surgery is the next step. And I just want my life back. You know, I've always been appreciative of what I have, who I am. You know, I've enjoyed everything to the max, you know, because I'm so humble in that sense. And I'm so grateful that me and my family are in a, in a good space where we make good money. And, you know, we have good jobs. I have an amazing job where I work for the state, but I'm able to work from home. And um, even before the pandemic, I worked from home. So, and I'm able to be with my autistic son. And my husband makes good money and my children, thank God. And we're in a good space. Um, we have gone through a lot through the years where we've had nothing and then we've had a lot and then we've had everything. And it just depends on what what is happening in that point in your life. And now we're good and we um, plan to stay that way because everything...